So I'm reading A Thousand Plateaus by Deleuze and Watari. Watari? I hope I say those names right. Probably not. Uh, anyways, so I'm reading A Thousand Plateaus because of the fact that that's like the root of rhizomes. The root of rhizomes. That's a, uh, that's a botany joke. Anyways, so, like, rhizomes are something that I use in my classroom to help idea development. You know, I've gone through this before I've, on different videos, but ultimately, it's a food web uh, where you are the middle, and then your likes, your interests, your aptitudes are the next layer, and then descriptors of those likes and interests are the next layer, and then direct experiences is the furthest layer out. So it's this like web of uh, your experiences. But when you look at this, it's growing from the middle and going out, right? And what uh, Deleuze and Guattari, I'm gonna just go with that. Uh, what I believe that they're saying is they're talking about this, and this kind of ties in with my own ideas and research, of like, uh, it's multi-dimensional. So they, they're they talking in roughly two dimensions, but you can get into like three dimensions and things like that. So I'm going to try to explain what I think they are trying to uh, illustrate. So they talk about um, not being able to ascend, uh, elevate, there's some kind of, I forget the exact language that they use, but they're trying, they're saying you shouldn't take, try and take something and elevate it to a position it's not. This is what it is, don't call it this because that doesn't fit, you know, unless it's part of a bigger picture. And that's the weird thing, this zooming in and zooming out. So, sorry. So. This to say, Nathan, that's me, I am Nathan, uh, and exalt me to something larger than I am, that's, that doesn't work, right? Because, like, I can only be a part of a whole. I'm, I'm me. I'm as big as I can get. Like, there, there's not more me. So, to zoom out per se of me would be to consider other human beings, the other like, you know, uh, if you look at um, like the evolutionary system I suppose would be a good way of saying this like going from one species kingdom, phylum, those things, you know, like uh, uh, naming processes, like this is a type of cat. They are part of the feline, and the felines are part of the animalia, blah, blah, blah. So, point being is I'm as big as I can be without considering other people. So the only way that I can consider me is in the N minus one, is the language that is in A Thousand Plateaus. That, um, it's gotta go to a lesser level or a divided it can't be like the the group. It's got to be disseminated, so deconstructed, if you will. And so, what does this mean? So, in the book, they use this uh, analogy of the human being and their organs. Like, um, the organs are not the person. The person is the whole thing. So, to relegate the like the spleen or the lung or the heart to be the person you are missing the the, the gestalt ultimately the, the the bigger picture and so it is a part of the human so like take any of the way any of these things away from the person uh, and that person won't be a full person anymore you know like it's less than. So, to say that lung is the person, when there's the whole body, it's there's this mass to it, there's multiples, multitudes. So, I can 
go to a lesser category, this is the human, the lesser category is these are the organs of the, of the human. And so they talk about um, things being objective and subjective. And I, I really never considered what objective and subjective, like truly, I use them interchangeably and I didn't really, so I had to look them up to figure out what they, why are, why are they making this distinction between objective and subjective? So objective ultimately is, if it's objective, uh, things are happening to it. And subjective is the things that are happening to. So like an object would be like a rock. A rock can't really do anything, it just is there. But uh, subjectively, I can do something to the rock. So that's the way that I understand that they're doing it and I'm uh, talking about it and I've never really considered about them. So into this objective and subjective is uh, breaking down the parts. So subjective, something needs to be done, uh, done to my, my body is doing something to my lungs. It's enacting something. But my lungs can't do anything unless it's enacted upon. So that the object would be my lung, the subjective would be my body. So it's important I'll make this distinction because that I think a lot in today's society particularly that we are very objective. We're giving ob subjectivity to the object. So like this part of me isn't all of me, and this can be looked at in, in a personality type. So, I like these things, but all these things together make me. So, it's not just one thing that makes me. So, I like hiking, you know, and I like rock climbing, and I like art, and I like singing, and uh, things like that. So. These are parts of me, so I can do something with them. I'm subjectively uh, in contact with them, but they are objectively in contact with me. I enact these things, but the climbing in itself can't enact, so it's objective. So we're looking at these things that are part of parts of us. I'm kind of smart. Uh, I, I'm faithful, breaking it down to the areas of wellness, the physical, mental, social, emotional, and spiritual. So I've referenced this a lot. So if we bro break the person apart, there's a physical part of them, a mental part of them, emotional, uh, spiritual, intellectual, whatever. And so these are descriptors of them. But I think sometimes we look at the physicality that this is all that there is to us. Or the mentality, this is all there is to us. But it takes all of this to reach uh, what the being is. So this is kind of what Deleuze and Guattari uh, are, I believe that they're trying to say is with a rhizome, it has its functionalities and it's a deconstructive one. Like we can only make ourselves part of bigger webs and then we're the small. So zooming in and zooming out. Like if I'm focused in on just me, well, this is me. If I'm zooming out, then there's more people. If I'm zooming way out, I'm looking at human beings or mammals or uh, earthlings or whatever have you. You know, you can keep zooming out until we're just a speck. One of like everything. But if you zoom in, then you're only concerned about what's immediately impacting your you. So this is a important consideration, and this is what I was saying about the different dimensions. Is like you got to understand where you are in relation to everything. And I guess that's what the the spiritual is. It's like learning what how everything connects and like is affected, right? So ultimately, you got to look at these different uh, perspectives to understand what the being is, what the person is, who am I, 
and how they relate to others, the, the, who am I good for, you know, like, and that's a, like, I've talked about this, this is kind of a backwards perspective, instead of, like, who is good for me, I should be thinking about who am I good for, because if you understand, okay, this is what I am, and this is how I'm going to affect you, is that positive or negative, whereas, if you're asking who is good for me, you're just looking for the take, but you're looking for the give and uh, to understand what works best. So that that locks it up as a give and a take. So you kind of need both. And this is what Deleuze and Guattari are kind of looking at, I think, in a one-dimensional way. So the two-dimensional way is how I relate to others, but also what what category am I? So this is something that I've been thinking about is like the dimensions of our relationships with others uh, and how we impact each other. And as a society, we are very on the take, like uh, who is good enough for me, but not asking yourself, who am I good for? So these rhizomes end up being this focus of like this going to this can all cannot be something can't be anything more than it is unless it joins a greater mass but if you take that thing you can break it apart so when you talk about it yourself you can either say this is me ta-da or you have to communicate what these things are about you so that you can understand and others can understand where you fit in the greater scheme of the puzzle going back to the idea of uh, worth more or worth less like the worth more is how many people I can connect with and the worth less is like ah, I can't hang out with them uh, I, I'm not good enough for them or they're not good enough for me or I don't think what I'm good for is good for them which is really the healthiest way to look at it like it's not their fault they're the way that they are I'm me so I need to recognize that I am okay with these people in these certain, certain situations, but in other situations, I, I better not. And I better not be around those people because I'm not good for them and they're not good for me. And recognizing that, okay, this is where I plug in and if you keep burning bridges and people uh, one right after another are saying you're impacting me negatively it needs to be recognized in all truth and candor that maybe you're the one shutting people off or doing the things that are offensive that people don't want to I don't want to be around you because of this reason but that means honesty and you can't get offended by that and if you hear it a ton of times Maybe you're the one who needs to change. Or ultimately, if this is impacting you negatively, you need to remove yourself. Because of logic. So, looking at the rhizome, this idea of where I am, where, what are my feelers, my phalanges, my, uh, the things that I am. And do these things mesh well in all situations with certain people because if that is that's that's who you should hang out with like these are all positive things oh look at all these things that we have in common we're doing great things blah 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 if all those things connect then those people should probably stick together but if we are having negative effects around people or they're being affected or don't understand or don't just connect with us we shouldn't hate them we should just say okay you're you go play over there you stay at your table I'll stay at my table you know and uh, schools are brilliant are brilliant about that but the, the education then must be all right if you guys are the ones that everybody has problems with you need to fix it and that needs to be elucidated that needs to be told to them they need to understand why every 
everybody is mad at them or why they don't fit in or why they keep getting in trouble. They need that explained out real directly because they're not getting it any other way. You need to, maybe you need to put it in a lot of different terms so they, they can understand what's going on. This again goes with that idea of the rhizome, zooming in and zooming out. It's really a big idea. And so this is how I'm connecting Deleuze and Watari to the idea of uh, my research, really. And that's all I have to say about that. Do more, do better.